Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Udaku Baza News and Plug KE where we bring you the top trending entertainment stories and we serve it hot. I'm your host Fiona Morege and if in case you're joining us for the first time here, welcome. Karibu na pata kiti ni kusavye kikombe ya chai. Karibu tena. guys your girl is back and i've missed you and i hope you have missed me too and uh, i hope you've been good and on my end i've been good nimekuwa tu sawa ila tu mvua ndio inanyesha nyeshenyeshe tumekuwa tu sawa tukipambana na hii matope and moving on to serving you the first cup of tea we have nyanshinski sasa nyanshinski mimi nasikia kuongelea kila kitu kuhusu nyanshinski sasa kwanza tuanze na Nyanshinski the poet of love the po- anaita ngo the poet ama ni poetry the poet of love aha uh-huh, dio huyo this this new song that Nyanshinski ame amefanya ni ame release juzi and i tell you the song ha ah! I tell you if you don't have someone you wish that someone could locate you as soon as possible when you're listening to that song. Hi, moving on, we had a so we had a festival. Okay, not a festival, but we had we had an event ya kina Sauti Sol and Nyashiski akam walk surprise my fans of kina Sauti Sol but guess who, what the surprise was on him because what happened? He fell aliangukana kwa stage. But tunasema kuvunjika kwa mkosi mwisho kupika ugali i know the medali is very heavy oh god is very mhm irrelevant but we assume that in the same way that mwiko inavunjikanga and it continues to pika ugali in the same way nyanshinski alianguka and he still performed Hiya, moving on to another kikombe ya chai. Ever heard of someone called Vera Sidika? Eh eh, ushemsikia? Ulimsikia wapi? Same, namjua, namfahamu, nishemsikia. Sasa, Vera Sidika, you all know the last time that I was here, I talked about her. Yeah, I did. I can't remember well, but I talked about her. And wangalie, I talked about her. But uh despite all that Vera Sidika alikuwa anga ameenda majuu na akarudi na akawelkamiwa nini nini and now she has settled but now Vera Sidika has been spotted in uh, Bana Boys mansion i don't know what business they have in sijui lakini lazima kinembe kitembe sasa mimi sijui maoni yako kuhusu hiyo wacha watu wa haso na njia zao and uh, people are saying that it's so sad kwana that he she used she used brown mauzo just to have kids with him and uh, you know the male chauvinists wanaita kwa hivyo male chauvinists yeah how sasa they were like attacking vera saying that um she is so irresponsible and asking her analianga sa ngapi kama kila time ni safari to and fro still on vera sidika's case haya mumesikia ako na bibi daddy si ndio now there was a birthday party ya mtoto wake huyu mwenye anaitwa Asia Brown Asia Brown yaka ka first born kadem and uh, Vera Sidika say that uh, the baby daddy is Brown Mauzo alikata ku show up for the kids birthday party I don't know what your thought about that lakini unaweza niambia unafikiria aje ni kama Brown Mauzo aliumizwa sana to the extent that he couldn't show up ama ni venye tu he felt very uncomfortable being in that place ama he felt shy i don't know what was his reason and he has not talked about it to say what was his reason for not attending his daughter's birthday party and you can tell me if you ever have lakini like sikuombe upate baby mama lakini <laughs> if you ever find yourself in a situation where you have a baby mama or you have a baby daddy would you like the person to be to to actively participate in the child's life like kama okay actively participate ni kama ku show up for the birthday parties ku show up for seven meter shule meetings would you like something like that to happen ama ungetaka wewe kila mtu aende njia zake and kila mtu mnako parent lakini mmoja wenu ndiye na take care of the kid i don't know what is your opinion unaweza niambia hapo chini Hi. Bado chai haijaisha. 
Palamos. Still have your kikombe. Let me add you more We have uh, the, a Tanzanian artist, Amani Muite, a Tanzanian singer, who is supposed to be performing in Kenya this weekend. Hey, yo, what's good, my people? What's good, my people? This is J Melody. J, once again, we want to Oyo Tanzanian artist wa mjua ni nani? Haumjui niko hapa kukuambia. The Tanzanian artist is harmonized and I don't know which date you'll be watching this from. I don't know una watch this from like which date. Lakini harmonize was supposed to arrive in Kenya. Leo ni date. Ni side Leo ni fourth. Yes, he was he was supposed to arrive in Kenya 4th of uh, November. So siju una watch he siku gani? Lakini jua, Harmonize alikuwa Kenya 4th of November. And he will be performing, uh, I don't know the place that he will be performing at, Amani Inn, I don't know. Lakini, ako Kenya. Ashafi, anafika Kenya leo. Yeah, leo yangu ni 4th. Sijui leo yako ni siku gani. And with that, we'll go for a short break. I'll be back with more Siende Mbali. wadau i'm back nimerudi like i never left sasa moving on to serve new moti haya niko na kiulizo mtaniruhusu niulize have you ever been in a situation that you got hurt am i there's something that happened in your life that you're unable to move on and you didn't know who to turn to where to turn to and what to do have you ever if you have ever unezaniambi apochini, how was the experience? How did you do it? And how what did you do to overcome it? For me personally, I've been in such a situation and I tell you, wah, wah. Karibu ni ene kambi doctor ongeza dripping ni amaji because ah. Now we have uh I'll talk about two ser se serum mm serum iyo sasa celebrities who seem not to have moved on from what happened to them. One of them we have Akode. You all know Akode walia chananga na yule Pakistani wake. And uh, some of you are aware, ama are not aware that Akode has been all over. Akisema, oh, how he, how she, how she has, she, she did not see the, either the red flags, nini nini, how she was reassuring the guy, venyana mpenda, nini nini. And I feel, personally, personally, ini maoni yangu, maoni yangu ya roho, ni muangu ya dani changu. Higher. Personally, I feel like Akode is still hurting from the heartbreak. And as much as she might try to show us that she is so strong, I think she's losing herself in one way or another. Another person who is losing herself after heartbreak is Jackie Matubia. Miss Ju, what Jackie Matubia has turned to be, but every time she opens her mouth to talk, it's screaming heart, heart, heart baby girl is hurt and i hope the two of them get time to heal off social media because as i tell you social media is not your friend mm -hmm. 24 7 social media watu uko si marafiki wako ni watu mnachakanga tu na wao lakini they're just there to entertain you to do the wrong things most of the times 97 percent of the times and i know most of you do not know that um jackie matubia they fell well he fall out na bishti yake milichebi i wonder what happened i thought you're calling yourself twins yeah what happened you're calling yourself sisters and it it became so so chaotic and dramatic i'll just say jackie matubia is so dramatic she's a drama queen because she went ahead to post a certain meme of a certain girl saying, oh, bitch, you should do what, you, you, you unfollowed me. And the person who was there was responding, unfollow me back. It's not that big deal. And uh, it, it shed light to us, the searchers of Udaku, that somehow Milichebi Alikua Amem confront about her unfollowing her. Easy has ni mingi. Haya. Mili Chebi alikuwa ame confront Jackie Matubia about unfollowing her on IG. 
and actually there was this this post that um milichebia liko ame post akisema ata hajui kuwa she has been unfollowed watch and angalie and it was true they have unfollowed each other and uh i feel we don't know what happened that they fell out like in we just hope that they'll get back together because uh, at a ratio the ratio you know the ratio it's called a dowry ratio is in kikuyu mm -hmm. you should thank me i know i know hi so the ratio that was there uh jackie matube and that day she spent with her kids having fun with her kids and according to how she talks it's like a uh, blessing does not take responsibility of the kid and it's like blessing does not want anything to do with the kid but i feel like if blessing was the problem this is my thought if blessing was the problem angekuwa shaongea sahi like it is like but is the one who is making the loudest noise you you have never had nani talking and i feel like uh, I, I, she, she's seeking attention from the baby daddy maybe comprovoke ili aonge the baby daddy is cool we are not kind of kama he's so aware of himself and his emotions and with that we have come to the end of our show and i hope you enjoyed till next time by the way before i go if you have not subscribed please subscribe come out like share comment everything that is supposed to be done down there please do it and where can you find us it's on news and fly ke i mean it's news and fly ke on instagram uh youtube i will say social media i mean all social media platforms you are there even tiktok to kohapo so if you'd like to follow us on any any social media platform feel free to do that till next time bye